When you increase the number of blades in a prop, you do gain thrust, but you take a bit of a hit in efficiency as uh, turbulence from one blade has less time to dissipate uh, before the next blade passes through it. Um, but the question is just how much of an effect does this really have? Three-bladed props are really popular right now, um, but they're not so easy to modify to test because they un uh, would be unbalanced if you cut them off. I happened to order some of these x 3030 quad blades, which are really easy to cut down to a two-bladed prop and compare the two and the four, which is uh, one would expect slightly less efficient than even the tri-blade version. If I ran this test on the DYS 1306 4000 kV motor at 3S, and while we've doubled the number of blades, we've actually only increased the thrust going from two blades to four blades by about 30%. Um, here you can see the uh, quad blade, the unmodified quad blade, is doing about 370 to three uh, grams of thrust, and the uh, two-bladed prop uh, gets us about 214. So that's about a 30% increase, which is pretty fair, especially if we look at the amp draw. We have a very kind of similar uh, distance between it, slightly more than 30% um, increase in, in or, or difference in the, the amps there. We're looking at a little over uh, 10 amps. 10.2 uh, amps for the uh, the quad blade and about seven and a half amps or so for the uh, the bi blade. So we're gaining 30% uh, thrust for about 30% more amps. The efficiency is dropping just slightly, uh, but we are getting basically the power out of it that we're putting into it. So that looks pretty pretty good. Um, so the thought occurred to me: we're getting a 30% increase in power. What if we take that two-blade prop, which obviously is a lesser load, so the, the motor is spinning faster, actually, uh, about 4,000 RPM faster with the, the two blades over the four. Um, let's take that and put that on 4S. Uh, increase the voltage by 30% and see what we get. And uh, really interesting symmetry when we add that result in. Uh, now remember this is the two-bladed prop on 4S with the four-bladed prop here in the middle. We actually see about another 30%, maybe slightly less than 30% increase in thrust on the two-bladed prop at 4S versus the four-bladed prop at 3S. But when we look at the amount of power that it draws, we see a slightly different story. The four-bladed prop in the middle, the two-bladed at 3S down there, around the similar numbers that we saw from the amp draw, about 90 watts. Uh, drawn on the two blades and 125 or so on the four, but our four blade draw jumps significantly and we've doubled the amount of power uh, compared to the two blade at 3S uh, into the system. So our efficiency for this has dropped significantly. We're getting this jump again in power, but we're taking a much larger jump between uh, those two in uh, power input out of it. And you can see that reflected if we look at the uh, grams per watt over the whole test. The uh, the two blade and the four blade on 3S very close together. Uh, you know, we've about 2.35 er, 2 on the two bladed prop and 2.2 um, 2 or so on the four bladed prop on 3S. Um, but we take a huge hit down to about 1.8 on the two bladed prop at 4S. So uh, although we've managed to decrease the load uh, a nice amount, the amount of load that's spinning it even faster on 4S puts on it uh, drops us our, our efficiency significantly for the power that it does give. It does give us a, a nice jump in power, uh, total power, at least. We're, we're looking at about uh, 330 grams of thrust uh, on that, which puts us uh, slightly over a normal Rotorex tri-blade on 3S uh, for this power combination. Um, so it's a fairly light setup and it will give us a good uh, good flight performance, uh, but that f the efficiency drop is very significant because the Rotor X prop will give us almost this thrust, but for the efficiency, 
that the uh, actually the efficiency of the, of the two blade I believe the efficiency on this setup was about a 2.35 for the uh, rotor X prop so the efficiency of the uh, the lowest thrust one here but the thrust values much higher up